What is up everyone, this is Motutorials here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the system cannot find the file specified error. So this is an odd error that happens, you know, when you're trying to open up some certain programs on your Windows computer or uh, applications, and then this happens. So there's, don't worry, there's actually a way to fix this, and I'm going to show you four steps and what you can do to kind of fix this error. So step number one is you're going to make sure, you're going to basically make sure your Windows is updated. So we're going to go into the search bar, and you're going to basically write Windows Update, and the page like this is going to come up. So if you look right now, there's literally an update that I didn't do and it's going to do there's pending installs and whatnot but you know there's an update that needs to be actually occurring and happening um, so once you actually do this make sure you have it if there's uh, optional updates like this quality update do it don't worry about it do these updates they'll be good for you now if you after trying this let's say it doesn't work or you want to try another step the next thing is we can actually troubleshoot on your windows itself this sounds weird but you can actually troubleshoot um so when you're in the troubleshoot setting you're going to want to make sure obviously you you want to be asked before doing any troubleshooting but if you look right now there's usually nothing happening over here but you can kind of like dive a little deeper into it by clicking like additional troubleshoots and seeing mostly again it's related to the files you want to do troubleshoot on windows update and then you can run the troubleshooter and it'll let you know if there's any problems or something issues that are happening that's not installing for some whatever reason so the next thing is we're going to basically run cmd and i'm going to show you right now in the search bar and we're going to do as admin so we're going to run as admin and when we're here we're going to do basically sfc slash scan now so you're going to see over here this takes time it's it's a very lengthy process but it's going to basically do a whole face scan of the computer and make sure you know everything's good to go nothing is broken nothing is crazy and whatever you can actually just just put it on the side let it complete and we'll kind of take it from there um once this is done the next or well, yeah basically when you're done you don't need to move to step four while it's happening just let it happen and then go from there we're going to basically uh, open up a Windows tab or a Finder tab, I should say, and we're going to go into PC. We're basically going into local disk, and in here we are going into basically the local. Disk. So let's see, we're going into Windows. Once you're inside Windows, there's something called software. Let's see if I can find right here. Software distributions. You want to just delete these files. These are old files that are most likely causing issues that have nothing to do with your data itself. The most of them might be even empty itself. You can just delete these files and, and then you should be good to go. There's other videos that I've made on how to delete these via another method, but you can actually delete these files within this method and then kind of just take it from there and you're good to go. So yeah, I hope this video helps you guys and helps resolve those issues and errors that you're happening. If you have other errors, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. If you guys overall like this video, please smash that like button. It helps a lot. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And that, more tutorials out.